All right, so let's take a look here at 27, and we're still expressing in simplified form and assuming that all variables represent positive real numbers. So we've been given the cube root of negative 27 a to the eighth b to the fifth. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. We're dealing with the cube root, and if you take a look at your chart, look down that third power column, since we're in the cube root, and you will see 27 is a perfect cube, so that's great. So when we break this down into good stuff, bad stuff, all of our negative 27, and when you're dealing with an odd power, remember, it's okay to have a negative under the radical. So if this is a 3 or a 5 or a 7, so on and so forth, you can have a negative under the radical. If this was an even exponent, 2, 4, 6, 8, you cannot have a negative under the radical, at least at this point in the practice test. So uh, we'll deal with that a little bit later on, but for right now, uh, if this was an even index, just know that we cannot have a negative under the radical. But we have an odd index, right? So, And we just saw that 27 is, in fact, a perfect cube. So we're going to take all of our negative 27 and put it under our good stuff uh, radical. All right, so we've dealt with that negative 27. Let's take a look at our a to the eighth. Well, if you watched the previous video, you know that once you've dealt with your number and you've moved on to your variables, and you're looking at the powers or the exponents of those variables, you want to go back to your index and whatever your index or root is, start thinking in multiples of that number. So here we have a three. So start thinking in three, six, nine, 12, et cetera, et cetera. And let's go back to this a to the eighth. Is eight a multiple of six? or excuse me, is eight a multiple of three rather? Well, no, I don't see eight listed here in this list. So we know that eight is not a multiple of three. So now we have to ask ourselves, all right, since it's not a multiple of three, what is the next number down from eight that is a multiple of three? Well, the next number down from eight that is a multiple of three is six, isn't it? And so when we are breaking up a to the eighth into good stuff and bad stuff, six of the eight are going to be good stuff because six is a multiple of three, our index. And now two, the remaining, will be bad stuff. And six plus two gives us eight. All right, let's go ahead and deal with now this b to the fifth. All right, our power, our exponent is five, and we wanna be thinking in multiples of three. Three, six, nine, 12. Is five a multiple of three? Nope, I don't see it. So since five is not a multiple of three, we wanna ask ourselves, what is the next number down from five that is a multiple of three? Well, the next number down from five that's a multiple of three is three itself. And so when we break this B down into good stuff, bad stuff, three will be, three of the, the, the powers, the exponents, will be good, and the remaining two will be bad, right? And three plus two gives us our five. So let's double check and make sure that we've broken everything down and that we're not missing anything. So negative 27, negative 27. A to the sixth, A to the second, and six plus two gives us eight. So we've got all of our A's. And B to the third, B to the second, three plus two is five. We have all of our B's. And so we know that we've successfully broken down our, uh, our original radical into good stuff, bad stuff without missing anything. All right, well now it's time to take out the good stuff. And we know that when we take out the good stuff, we're going to remove all of this clean and nice without any radicals. So what is the square, or excuse me, what is the cube root? And I should have written three here. You wanna make sure you always do that. Whatever your index is, when you break it down into good stuff, bad stuff, make sure you write your index, otherwise you'll make a little mistake like I just did. So what is the cube root of negative 27? Well, if you go back to your chart, the cube root of positive 27 is positive three, but because we're dealing with a negative here, we're gonna have negative 27 come out 
under the of the radical as negative three, right? Because negative three times negative three times negative three is in fact negative twenty-seven, right? Negative three times negative three, well that's positive nine times the last negative three gives us negative twenty-seven. All right, now let's go ahead and see what our a to the sixth comes out as. Well, if you watched the previous video, you'll know that when we are dealing with now our variables, when you are removing the variables from the good stuff, you're going to take the in uh, the power or exponent and divide it by your root or index. So in this case, six divided by three gives us two. So when a comes out, it's going to come out as a to the second. And now b is going to come out as, well, we divide, we take our power or exponent, divide it by the index. 3 divided by 3 gives us 1, so when the b comes out, it comes out as b with an exponent of 1. But we don't have to write that exponent of 1, right? And now that everything's come out of our good stuff radical, we can simply go ahead and rewrite our bad stuff radical. So a squared, b squared. And there we have our final answer for number 27, negative 3a squared b times the cube root of a squared b squared.